General Plastro, at last I have found you. Ah, oh, what would you give to move again? What would you give to speak again? I'm, I'm alive. I'm, I'm. Oh, 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 cramp, cramp, ouchie, ouchie. Yes, Plastro. My anti-plastrification serum has brought you back. Uh, really? Let me see that. Oh my. Oh, this is marvelous. Is there more? More than we could ever use. Enough to carry us to victory. Yes, victory! I... Yo, did you say us? Oh. Come on now, darling. Surely the ruler of the entire world can afford one favor in exchange for such a powerful secret. Oh, one favor, you say? <laughs> well, <laughs> what could such a delectable creature as you possibly want from me? <laughs> Eat all. Oh. Looks like they're still generating serum on the other side of the portal. Well, time to crash their party! While I could have skipped the bit with Plastro and La Blue Girl, I kind of felt the differences between the two versions are a little too much for me to just pass through without a mention. Kinda like the fact that she shot the stuff from a flamethrower, Certainly doesn't shove the fact that she's supposed to be a Venn Fatale down our throats. Yeah. Vicky's really, really become more of a badass since the previous game. Not sure what the logic is behind that, but what the hell? I just wish we were given some kind of explanation for why she went from a Lois Lane type of girl to a Vasquez... Right. Probably shouldn't have compared Vicky to Vasquez. Gives the impression she's gonna die or something. I can't really tell if this fridge is more spacious than it should be, or if this family really needs to go shopping soon. Maybe it's a little of both. Because by god, there's plenty of empty space around here. Sure, it probably wouldn't be particularly entertaining, trying to navigate through an overstuffed fridge, and this is the longest mission we've seen so far. So they're improving at least a little. The number of enemies certainly feels better so far. Whoa, where are you going? Joining up with a few other soldiers is certainly smarter than just attacking a one-man army on his own. It's just such a shame it didn't help him much. Also a shame that we had to reach the third mission before it feels like the game's actually started. While this mission isn't as long as the average length of, of missions from the previous game, it at least feels like the game designers took the time to build a decent sized map with a reasonable number of enemies. Feels like there was some genuine effort put into this mission as opposed to the previous two and the boot camp. It also helps it feel like we're actually infiltrating enemy territory instead of mopping up some stragglers. I know, I'm probably being a little harsh on the first two missions of the game. And like the first Sarge's Heroes, we aren't starting off in a desperate strait. We're starting with our side holding the advantage. While I appreciate the fact that we're not backed into a corner all the time in this series, considering how things were in the previous game, I'd kind of like some explanation for why the enemy's suddenly getting their ass kicked, other than Plastro isn't leading them. Good to go. Okay, why the hell is Plastro's face on a milk carton? Does this mean that the Tanza have control of a milk factory in this world? I know it's supposed to be a clever little joke, but. Guess I'm just the wrong person to tell this kind of joke to. 
How did the Tans do this? How do the humans around here react to seeing a missing notice for a plastic soldier be- I can't even remember seeing anything other than old cartoons that put a missing thing on the side of milk cartons. Is it just something that's from before my time, or something that only existed in fiction? And as a side note, I get a feeling getting to the next platform is going to be the most challenging piece of this mission. Still, at least the platforming is better in this game, so it's not as bad as it could have been. Okay. Why do you think you'll be the one to kill Sarge when hundreds before you have already failed at the job? It's like they don't even recognize that this guy ripped through several hundred of their troops in the previous game. I would have thought that he'd be one of the most famous bastards in the Green Army after that. Wait, there's a hole in the refrigerator that leads to the freezer? Then how does the fridge keep from getting too cold or the freezer from getting too warm? Ah, maybe I just don't know enough about refrigerators.